this is uh there's my electronic vibrators right there and there's the international cute can it's cute they're trying to block the international sellouts i guess they don't want my dna either there's a song hopefully you can't hear it but i'm okay so Had a hit, obviously, right? Obviously, I didn't care. That's why I said whatever. But uh, it's pretty obvious, right? It was a flip scenario, pre-flop, but not even a flip scenario. He had three fucking outs. He had three queens, and he hit his three queens. Called a, made a big pet bet pre-flop and uh, got lucky. He's likely to make that play on the flop, but he he got lucky. Everybody that rips me off loses in the end, guaranteed. The Canada, like, you know, I have poker skills. I got stock market skills. I have my reflexes, so I can panhandle. So any country that uh, has weed and poker, I'm fucking set. Set. I don't need Canada. Canada needs me. I know how to increase the reflexes in my brain. Now. So they can slow them down now, but that's not gonna stop my reflexes when I wanna have my reflexes. I could spin a cup. I don't know if I could do it now, like I haven't tried in years, but I could definitely regain the skill, but uh, I could spin a cup of water, like almost full, around my back and catch it between my legs and spill very little water, just with centrifugal force, centrifugal force and understanding physics and my reflexes. So that trick alone, I could probably make a couple hundred dollars a day, at least. All I need is a couple bottles of water and a cup and a marker. Or I could grab change out of somebody's hand faster than they could close it for money. And I could, for five times as much, I could switch it switch a coin in their hand so if I have a penny I could drop a nickel in and grab the penny sometimes I can't do it 100% of the time because as soon as I drop the nickel it's out of my control so sometimes the nickel bounces or they lift their hand up so that would have to be a criteria that they can't lift their hand up and uh, then I drop the nickel in their hand and once I drop the nickel, grab the penny, that they open their hand, they see the nickel, voila, I just made 50 bucks. I seen it on Bloodsport, so I perfected the trick. Didn't need to perfect it, like I've only tried it less than 20 times. But uh, almost 100% accurate going for the penny. But it's whether or not I could switch the nickel or not. That's without me developing any other skills. Because once I go to another country, I'm gonna have different attributes than, than what I'm allowed to have in Canada. So it's August 5th, 2024. And uh, so they're gonna try to make it so I get a criminal record so I can't leave the country, I think. So here's them trying to play that card right now. But for what? Panhandling? It's a $500 fine. But this cop did number 285 in the Niagara Falls Police Force. Mr. 17 years experience. Uh, with brown hair. 
he's wearing glasses, so I can sunglasses, so I can really see his eyes. But, anyways, he uh, criminally harassed me twice for panhandling, in my opinion. And he mentioned something. He tried to up a panhandling fine to a criminal charge. Right. So there's the cop. That's what he was there. So, in one day, I'm going to be the true king of the world, right? So, I'm going to have find out exactly who was pulling the strings and who gave him the fucking he quoted something out of the rookie playbook something that they would have trained as a rookie and he had 17 years experience for a, some obscure scenario that I brought up and he all of a sudden could verbatim quote some fucking law without being able to provide me the criminal code number or uh, so I could google search it and he said something he said it and I'm like I'll beat it in court. And he's like, we're not in court. And I'm like, exactly. Because I would have fought it right out to the fucking Supreme Court of Canada. Right? Because where I was, I was panhandling. And uh, I tried Google searching panhandling near a freeway exit in Ontario. And that exact criteria. So where I was standing, you can see where the freeway asphalt ended in the street asphalt began because it was a different fucking color. So I pointed that out to him. I should have had it on film next time if I ever see, I don't go there anymore because he mentioned some obscure fucking law that could get me a criminal charge, right? So, right, why would I risk it? But uh, there are other panhandlers that they're all the fucking time, all the time. And guaranteed you, he's never harassed them. Yesterday I was panhandling. I got approached four times by security guards, four different times, because they weren't getting the subliminal metrics. So they would have me move to an area where they wanted to set me up, basically. So here's all the proof of that right there for, on the international servers. You know, and I respectfully left, but uh. Because I felt like it. Next time I'm gonna stay and wait for the police to come and get them to tell me the fucking bylaw. Because I'm sure if I Google search panhandling on a specific street in a specific city, bylaws, I guarantee fucking tea you there's no bylaw for that particular street. So these security guards are just blowing smoke. I even mentioned that a justice in Ontario changed the law. It was either April 2nd or April 3rd, 2024, favoring panhandling. And uh, they always disregard that and they're they're just being, their strings are being pulled by somebody in the government, right? But uh, yeah, next time I'm just gonna wait. Like, if it's during the day and I, I feel like waiting for the police to come, I wanna, I wanna hear from somebody that other than that can do something than other get then give me a warning other than give me a warning that's all a fucking security guard could do is give you a warning maybe sometimes they could give you fines if you're on private property but sidewalks are public property like they there's aggressive a law for aggressive panhandling. I don't even talk to people unless they give me money. I say thank you. I don't even talk to them. They, they walk right by me. They ignore me. Whatever. That's fine. That's cool. And, uh, right? But then, hopefully only good people give me money, but that's unlikely. Here's all the evil people that ever gave me money. And here's all the evil people that pretended to give me money. But every good person that gives me money, I want them to get a hundred times luck somehow. Can't be so transparent because then uh, <coughs> they're going to be, these violators are going to violate them, right? So the entire human population would always have to be cloaked so they these people could benefit it randomly.
<laughs> so the government of Canada allows people into Canada to electronically set me up. They specifically come to Niagara Falls to violate me. And here's the group of people from Toronto that went, moved there to, or went there to violate me when I was in Toronto in 2018, 2019. Tourism went up in uh, Toronto then guaranteed there'd be more hotels would have been booked, restaurants, activities guaranteed it went up. Traffic changes when I when I they don't like it when I'm in Toronto. If I had a bike in Toronto, they would hate it. So maybe I should move to Toronto with a bike. I do want to go there because they have a poker room, but uh, maybe I should move there with a the, with a the bike. They had my last two bikes stolen. They made sure that my last two bikes were stolen, and uh, because I'm too random with the bike, they can't register me as well, set me up, and. Uh, because I'll do tricks, right? The system doesn't expect me to be doing tricks on the bike and and uh, or anything. So they they'll set me up. They try to set me up, right? So it's easier to set me up walking, even though they don't barely get me with where I step. But they're able to hack my eyes to look at these metrics and uh and set me up. Somebody just hacked my eyes right there. There's the international way to see it. They blocked at that time, so I don't think. There it is. One day they won't be able to block it, so all my videos it's gonna be shown, right? So they might be able to block it for a little while, but eventually it, everything I say is gonna be proven in court, in a court of law, international court of law, and there's gonna be executions, right? They commit genocide every fucking day covertly by killing over 100,000 people with this system, right? So here's all the enemy combats that commit genocide every day and that love it, right? And one day, and so I said that they love it, right? Because one day in court, they're going to be like, I'm not criminally, criminally complicit. I don't love it, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be like, here's the fucking proof, bitch. Men or women. And they're criminally responsible because they play the switch and... I, I try showing them that there's no augmented reality, but they want augmented reality. So they want, they know the difference between right and wrong people do die in the system, get hurt or go to prison, right? So even young members, enemy combatants as young, once they know that and they're willing to hurt and harm people and have their body benefit from stealing attributes, they're an enemy combatant. <coughs> so that would be unique to each individual. But so you'd always want to get their puppeteers there first for the young members. Because <coughs> it's no different in an actual war if a kid picks up a gun, right? Are you going to let the kid shoot you or are you going to shoot the kid? Right? You're going to shoot the kid and save your own life because you possibly have kids. Right? Like it. I would, right? I don't know what the Geneva Convention is, but in a war zone, if a kid's shooting at me, like taking rounds, like five rounds, six rounds, and he's trying to kill me, why the fuck would I let him kill me? He's trying to kill me. I would try to kill him. I wouldn't want to kill him, but I'd be sad if he died or he or she died, but I wouldn't want to die more than that feeling, so I'd kill him. So follow the rules of engagement in official hot zones, but in the covert war, any enemy combatant right there, all ages, young through old. Because some of these kids are serial killers already, right? Like they're, once you find out like that they're little monsters and they're only, they only get worse every minute that goes by, you're not going to feel sorry for them. You're not going to feel sorry for them when they're stealing... Like, your kid might be the valedictorian, would have been, but this other kid in the class is stealing your kid's brain attributes, making them smarter, and your kid not as smart, or not as good physic, like, not the better athlete. You know, they manufacture athletes. Like, the best athlete is probably either somebody at home, such as myself, or somebody on the bench, somebody getting very few minutes. Definitely in the Olympics, it... This Olympics should be different, but 
the last, almost every Olympics beforehand, guaranteed the podium finishers were, most of them were electronic cheats. There could have been the odd haymaker that they let go through, but probably very few Hall of Fame players aren't electronic cheats that weren't leeching attributes off of other people and having other people play them with a computer, basically, to make them better. Right, hacking their attributes, like especially nowadays with artificial intelligence and nanotechnology and robots, right? They get robotics. It's uh, people are androids, basically. Like they, and they, they would have to resurface every pro sports league in the world. But on all surfaces, there's going to be subliminal metrics where if they stand at a certain spot, they're going to either score or miss, no matter what, guaranteed, guaranteed, because they stepped on a cer certain metric. Right, there's certain spots that I walk, I'm like a fucking ninja, right? And then somebody else hacks me, and then it feels like I'm a thousand pounds. So, from one minute, I feel liquid like a fucking ninja, I could do a backflip or three, and then the next minute, I feel like I'm a thousand pounds. So, they that's how they here's the technology they use to punish my biology basically, just for existing. Just because um, I have superhuman attributes, they feel they should punish me for it. And they're trying to create a scenario where there's millions or billions of us and justify developing technology for future war scenarios. They're insane. There's three of us on the planet. And every day that goes by, there's more people born with uh, the biology that wants to disease and age my biology doesn't want to disease or age so if, if possible I can't say anything because they pretend uh, they pretend that the future happened and I you know I'm king of the world and all that stuff right the world my world's going great I'm not I'm panhandling right now so they're pretending I'm not panhandling right now in some artificial intelligence system so they would have to know that they'd have to consciously be aware of me all the time but uh yeah, they, they pretend that I'm living large, but I'm not, right? But one day I would like to uh, share with the masses, if possible, to make it safe, right? To, uh, so people would be born with these biological defenses that my family has, right? My descendants will have. So I want to, but it's whether or not it's safe to do so, right? Like I can't do it with these evil people because uh, they would want to get these descendants and then kill you all off basically so here's the people that want to do that so I can't do that right so thank you buddy you're welcome so that being said if if it's safe to do so in the future I will like once uh, good people are liberated and mankind's uh, has free will in privacy of thought right then uh then after a period of years he'll once uh it probably take at least 20 years to consolidate my empire and uh to make it so sperm donation clinics are safe and foster parents are safe and adopt the parent agencies are safe for kids right until that happens i'm never having by like surrogate kids that are going to be violated forever right they they ha it has to be a safe envi environment for kids, right? Once it's a safe environment for kids, then then I'll start having surrogate kids, right? Like once uh, teachers don't prey on their students electronically and daycare providers don't prey on their students electronically or clients electronically. Here's how they always try to set me up. And here's the full context of my life. Anyway, so I'm trying to reform and make it a healthier environment for kids. And uh, one day, once I'm king of the world and I do vanquish evil, Halloween will be known as anti-pedophile day. And it'll be celebrated by the masses. So, so kids could uh, have the magic of dressing up in fantasy land and not being preyed on by adult predators electronically. Like, so that's that's the thing, right? So Halloween will be uh, not a national holiday, but it'll be uh, 
celebrated anyways, where there's the, the act of uh, either gi- giving or trick or treat, right? Like, you know, there's less of a, it's mainly the treats, but for kids, but it's the act of uh, seeing them all dressed up in their cute outfits and w- whether they want to be mermaids, dragons, whatever, leprechauns. There are probably none of those nowadays, but those would have been old school uh, Halloween costumes. But whatever they would want to be, basically. And Christmas would probably be celebrated uh, by the world. Like for Christians, it'd be how, like for the whatever the Christian beliefs would be for that individual person. But uh, for the rest of the world, it would just be since my name's going to be, I'm changing it soon legally to Eminence Cristiano Meyer Diggins. So since my name is Chris and Christmas, right? So I'm going to keep it as Christmas. And, uh, and I'm going to keep the January to December 31st calendar in the 52 weeks. And it'll be a new year because I have to change the year so people can't sabotage mankind. And, uh, so I have to change international boundaries. And so the artificial intelligence system doesn't know how to sabotage man- mankind. Right, so I have to uh, uninstall. Here's how they're trying to sabotage the road network. Right, so uh, they don't know, they can't really sabotage man- mankind, so I'm gonna have to redraw the international boundaries and it's gonna make it more cohesive, right? Because like, there's one area, for instance, I forget exactly where it is, but they, uh, they built a dam and it's affecting two other countries, right? So really, they're controlling the water supply of two other countries and that could ultimately lead to war, right? So if I'm king of the world, I could mitigate that situation. Right, I could. Uh, there wouldn't be any terrorists, and there would there'd be water supply for all three countries, right? So I'd be able to. I'm gonna make it the world more logistical and harmonious, like being economically. It's gonna be a social republic with a monarchy, with me, king of the world, and then I'm gonna have. I have two kids right now, but I'm gonna have more kids, and these kids will be the largest ethnic portion of that particular sector, so to speak. And there would be, uh, I'll have, uh, have sort of like a talent show Miss America kind of deal where, where they're beautiful, athletic and smart and have good personalities, right? Because I have to have a relationship with these people for hopefully indefinitely, right? So I need to, be able like because they're going to be my surrogate kids mom right so not my surrogate kids my kids mom and uh that i'm going to raise so i need to i'm going to be possibly a little league games with them weddings graduations so i need to have a solid relationship with them to be able to you know because there's going to be the question why aren't you and mom together right so that's, and my answer is going to be like, we had you for mankind, right? You lead this country. You're meant to lead this country. You know, so, uh, because it's hard to plan, right? Because one day, you know, this should all happen, but there's going to be an aftermath of this scenario, right? Like, so it depends on how many people basically at that point so again all the people that are trying to kill mankind right there again the people wreck my eyes right there they try to restore my attributes with one consequence, or some of my attributes, but there's always a consequence, right? I'll feel awesome, but then I'll, I'll have a rib pain, right? So again, those people that try to restore most of my attributes, but with a pain, with a consequence. Just because I'm born, they, they think I should have a consequence to have my attributes. So again, those people that believe that right there.
they blocked it so here's the international version i don't see the white light i ai where's the white light it's not showing it with the circle so uh no i don't see there was kind of the white light so there should have been showing some there I can tell when they're showing the artificial intelligence, the sub subliminal, and when they're not. So well, there's going to be dereliction of duty because I'm going to remember. I'm not finished my quest until I remember every second of my life capability. Until, like they say, I could be able to bench press over a thousand pounds. Until I could do that, until I could run an eight second, 100 meter dash or whatever I'm capable of, until I could do these things, until I, I felt the needle go in. Well, I seen the needle go in me and I. I seen it go out and I didn't feel the play pain whatsoever I looked down I was shocked I was dumbfounded like that she was done that I didn't even feel the prick of the needle go through my skin right so that's the biology I want and I also seen a paper cut like I, I must have destroyed the artificial intelligence system where they allowed me to see what my body was capable of doing because this is when I first figured out that people were able to listen to your thoughts right so I uh you know I started noticing stuff like my thoughts all like I might say like star spangled tuna fish right and then I'd be on Facebook and then I would see star spangled tuna fish promotions right and it was a thought like some unique thought that I never told anybody that it was impossible for any human to fucking know right so after a while I started baiting my mind and I started having these unique thoughts to see if they would appear in reality. So I did this for a period of months. And then eventually, uh, I'm like, so could you listen to my thoughts? Because I realized if you were to, if you were to watch somebody read, when they read, as they breathe, they're kind of pronouncing the words that they're, they're reading. So you could hear what, you can read their mind basically by their breath, their breathing techniques. So with artificial intelligence, especially you'd be able to read somebody's mind just by how they're breathing sometimes. And uh, just their breathing techniques. After a while, it'd be like a cipher. You would have to watch them probably for a while, but you'd be able to piece clues together, right? Like especially if uh, once you heard them speak out loud, you'd be able to find the keywords to the cipher and then go from there. Right, you'd be able to find the the right, like when they how they breathe and pronounce the the right, or you know stuff like that. So eventually, it would paint a picture, and you'd be able to read read the mind basically, right? So that was probably the inspiration for telepathy, but with uh, computer telepathy, it's uh, much more simpler than that. It's just basically tuning into the brain's frequency, right? Like our thoughts are just sounds that uh, we hear at a low level that nobody else could hear outside our body, we think, right? So scientists have figured out how to take that sound and amplify it and hear it remotely. It's no different than you watching a TV show being broadcasted in a different city, right? They're, the signal starts in a different place and we hear it in a f remote location right so they tune into your brain's frequency that's why our brain waves are measured in hertz a television is measured in hertz so they did hack my brain like there was another point i, I do want to mention so here to get every violator near me right there getting them on their international servers their ip addresses on their cell phones in their pockets purses etc so they hack your brain your brain's in hertz computer assisted telepathy so let's see if I could uh... oh the dog whistle this is the new point the dog whistle so anyways with uh, a dog whistle I blow the whistle the dog could hear it. it irritates the dog I don't even hear it right so if, if scientists have that technology you have to understand they must have technology to amplify our thoughts that we hear sounds that we hear and to be able to hear it in a remote location, right? Because most people have had dental work done, so they're able to bounce signals off your dental work. And then uh, it highlights regions of your brain, and then neurology and psychology is able to see these regions, and after a period of time of analyzing that individual, they're able to speculate what types of uh, 
what they're going to say and what they're thinking and what have you. It's a science, right? It is, it's getting more refined with time, but it is highly speculative, right? Like it's advanced and I always skew the skew. I just have to step to the right or left. I just moved to the left and I just skewed people's storylines. They came all the way to the Niagara Falls for some story. Now I have made them contradict their core character and now they have to sell a different con that they personally hate. But now the system's going to make them love that type of con and make them become that type of sexual deviant just to sell a con against me. A guy that's necessary for mankind's future. And here's the people that it's going to happen to. There's a subliminal right here. There it is. That's all they do, right? And they don't realize, especially guys, right? Guys don't realize because they get penis envy, right? That's why I wrote a song today. It's called, You Haven't Seen Your Dick In Years. You Haven't Seen Your Dick In Years. So anyways, I wrote a funny song. But uh, these guys have penis envy. But what they don't understand is I need to have surrogate, millions of surrogate women or billions for these men to be able to have offspring with these biological with the biological enhancements. So I have to have a safe environment where I can have sex every day with many, like five women a day probably. And uh, and then as many surrogate kids a day as possible. So there's millions or billions, right? Then men, so that then they would have to wait 18 to 20 years before they're sexually mature, right? So men have a hard time with this. So men 30 years ago caused the problem for guys now and guys now are causing a problem for guys 30 years from now then 30 years from now guys are going to cause problems for guys 30 years from then right so it's they're just compounding their problem but i need to have i have one daughter right i if they if they would have told me this at my birth they could have easily told me like they're fools i, I was a kid right i was born a baby i was easily manipulated as a baby they could have made me say do you want to do this for fucking canada as a kid, if they would have made me rich, they could have indoctrinated me to have as many kids for fucking Canada as possible. And I would have, because I was a kid, I would have been brainwashed by my fucking country. But they're fools. They don't know how to win, right? And I'm glad it didn't happen. It would have worked out for America and the West, right? Because uh, Canada would have been uh, able to sell, like, get, sell my DNA and got whatever trade deals they wanted. And Canada unofficially would have been the superpower of the world, right? Uh, even if they didn't officially have the military might, they would have... Because uh, really, technically, they are the superpower of the world because all three evolutionary people are in Canada, right? But I'm only in Canada for a very short time. Not too much longer. And give another country a shot because there's 195 countries right so where does canada fit in the spectrum they fucked me over for 46 years never won an olympic gold should have been in the hall of fame by now at any sport i wanted and the thing is it's like i always wanted to be professional at some and best in the world at some i have been best in the world twice at things and unofficially many times, I guess, but officially tw best in the world twice. Once in a game called Neopets, I, uh, I was best in the world for, for a period of time. I, uh, I think I played this one game for like eight hours and then a guy beat it and then I played it for like 24 hours straight. And uh, to get the best in the world, right? Ranking again. And, uh, it was, uh, I had a system. It was impossible for me to lose in that game. It was impossible. It was just, I played until I got bored, basically. And, uh, and then there was a Math Blaster game in 2015 that I was, uh, ranked, uh, best in the world for a couple hours. It was, I was doing, I forget the, the questions, but it was, it was hard questions. It would start at the top of the screen and you would have to answer the questions as it went down to the bottom. And But it was I think it was double digits times double digits. I worked my way up to or add in triple digits by triple digits or hard subtraction, hard hard division. It, it, got, it got pretty hard and fast, right? And 
where I had uh, a couple seconds or less. And that was a watered down mode. Watered down mode. Right? With my fast brain, like I love Sudoku. And uh, I developed a strategy. Like it's a game that's been around for thousands of years. I, uh, and I'll be able to prove this. Here's the proof right there. But uh, I'll be able to prove it because I emailed the World Sudoku Council or whatever, my strategy. I showed them a video how I defeated a super hard pattern on Sudoku. So now, it doesn't matter what app I have, I get Sudoku patterns that that strategy doesn't work for. It doesn't work anymore. Right, so they developed an artificial intelligence system to figure out algorithms that my strategy doesn't work for. Because I was able to... I was able to rule, like, isolate any cell down into a 50-50 probability and then eliminated it down to a one choice afterwards. But within, okay, I missed. But within 50 minutes, even the hardest puzzles, some of the hardest ones, I was able to have a 50-50 probability and most of the cells filled in, uh, I think, in a typical hour and a half thing like for a really hard one I was able to do it in like 15 minutes or 45 minutes or like a super fast time where I thought I was the fastest Sudoku puzzle solver on the planet right I was gonna challenge uh go for the world title but it was only a ten thousand dollar prize pool right but I was in Europe at the time and it happened to be in Germany so I was gonna try to do it just for the 10 grand but then uh now, so when I play Sudoku puzzles, I can't isolate it into 50-50 choices. Now, it's I have three choices. Because like before, like the first 150 Sudoku puzzles I played, uh, there was always two, two numbers that were the key to that particular puzzle. It might be 7, 2, 5, 9, 8, 6, whatever it was. Two random numbers that were the key to the Sudoku puzzle that you could solve it. So that's how I came up with that 50-50 strategy. But uh, I did, I do have that email address. So I do have that email. That's awesome. I'm gonna try to find it. I, I do have to pause it though to find it. Cause uh, how should I do it? Cause I, I should be able to find the email. Did I upload the, I couldn't have sent the whole the 50 minute video by email though, so I I would have the email to the Sudoku puzzle. Person. I'm gonna check. So I believe this is it. no attachment. Oh, here we go. So I guess here, I might as well play this one. I can't do it because I'm uh because I'm recording right now with the screen recorder so I can't do it but I guess I will record it download these videos and then uh in a future video I'll have to upload it I'll just uh, name it Sudoku or something you'll see Polter don't be Sudoku that sucks I wanted to see it.
So it was a great day, cause uh, here's the proof of it, right there. It, oh, they're not letting me show it. They're not letting me show it, unfortunately. But covertly, I felt my prime minister's eyes water in my biology. Here's the proof. Here's the proof. Where is it? Where's the proof? They're not allowing me to show that today, but in the future it'll be shown. But then he did try to reciprocate and he caused a very frustration situation because uh, I was going to go panhandle, but uh, then, so I was going to go to a spot close to where I lived and then in my mind, there were like the police, that this police officer that harassed me twice now, they uh, were going to send him there to set me up. So that pissed me off, right? So they, they try to simulate the flood of my brain with estrogen. and But for a split second, it looked as if my eyes were watering in my mind's eye. So that's how he tried. Here's the proof of that. So, so he tried to reciprocate it because I could feel like you watch. If I ever say speak in the wrong tense, like if I ever say we... He, or not them, but he, instead of I, right? Then uh, that's an electronic violator right there, basically. So if you do see my face, if I'm saying something and my facial expressions contradict what I'm saying, or if I, sh if, you see, if I see shock in my face, disgust in my face, happiness in my face, and I'm saying something and it might contradict my facial expressions. Those are my electronic hijackers being shocked with what the fuck I just said. So they're not expecting it. So they see, you'll see my physical, like I'll, I'll look to the left or look to the right or smile or blah, 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 or I'll look shocked, disgusted, but I'm happy with what I said because I'm trying to vanquish evil or do, do what I do, right? And, but. I'll try to show you an example of that right now. Because there was one from today. Maybe this one. Here, right here. here is a pair of Nike shoes I've had for maybe two months. And they're terrible. They're terrible. Poor, poorly, poorly made. And uh, the guy that gave me it uh, electronically violates me. And Nike uh, gave them the ability to basically oh I didn't show it there so this one probably does though trying to look okay so I'm trying to show vertical wrinkles that I was kind of going away horizontal there it is horizontal right, there. right there but you can see in the middle of that line right there that 45 degree line I have it on that side too and uh they hack my biology to uh to get wrinkles when I'm sleeping, basically, because I do have proof where, uh, from a few years ago, where I was only getting the line on one side of my face, and because uh, I was only sleeping on that one side, right? And uh, so I'm the only person on earth that has 45 degree wrinkles on their forehead, and uh, you can check anybody. I Google searched uh, wrinkles in white men, and because uh, I'm a white man, and they all have horizontal wrinkles. They have horizontal wrinkles. It may be the odd vertical wrinkle, but none the the horse they got the forty five degree angles. No forty five degree angles. And my dad never had wrinkles on his forehead. My uncle doesn't have wrinkles on his forehead like I do. And uh, they're we're older than me and uh, I have an evolutionary gene, which science is gonna prove one day. My grandmother barely has wrinkles and she's like eighty nine turning ninety. So I have video proof of that. Like my face looks older than my grandmother's almost. How is that possible? When people are, if people weren't uh, manipulating my chemistry, my biology, right? So it didn't show it there, unfortunately, but maybe. But I'll show you. Here's here's proof of uh, this technology they use against me. So before I, I play it, so this was uh, 
August 3rd, 2024 at 3.45 p.m. So watch this video. Hey, right here, they're trying to make that bean pop out. Right there, that's brand new. Like, as I mentioned uh, yesterday, I had very close beans, but it went away today. They just tried making it pop out. Right now, like, it's gone away. But they're hacking right here. This particular area right there, you can see the subliminal. Okay, so that's a, once once again that was at 3:45. So this very next video is at 3:49. And it's only a couple more here. It just started to appear right there when I said that. But uh, it's less. Let's see if I can make it disappear on film. I'm trying to make it disappear it's almost in my mind by unhacking the article. It's, uh, it's noticeably down from uh, a few seconds ago though. Before it was like right there. You can see now my scar you can right see the here. subliminal face right in the middle actually. Right there, you can see the mouth. That's almost that horn honk was almost artificial intelligence confirmed it. That horn, did you hear the horn honk? That was somebody within the system that was aware of that, and the artificial intelligence made them honk the horn, or they made honk the horn at the same time, right? But that's how the system works in the background. But now this is two hours later, and it's gone. So I had that vein on my leg sticking out, and so the it's nowhere to be seen. It's, it's later on that day. So that's how they hacked my, it was actually just past the scar, so it's somewhere like right there. There's the face right there, the subliminal face, you can still kind of see it right there. But uh, the vein is disappeared. Because uh, that's how they hacked my biology once, and it's August 3rd, 2024. I love seeing how handsome I am in the future when they watch the damn videos. Even if they age me, they make my teeth yellow. That was somebody there that made me smile. Okay, so I wanna see one where I see disgust in my face or something like that. So possibly this one. Here, the back. Not this one. I uh, get a large abscess on my face or whatnot because I try to re redirect it back to people that violate me. But if I get one, it's uh, part of the system. Uh, they're trying to redirect it to my skin. So it's July 31st, 2024. So I'm just documenting that because uh, I seen a guy with a massive like golf ball plus softball size, almost uh, a hardball size tumor or whatnot, mass on his face, right? So they tried to redirect it to my biology. But here's spit. This is a... Uh, no, the, I don't know, was this spit or I think this was, yeah, that was nanotechnology spit. But I have uh, mucus, that that might have been mucus snot out of my nose. But I didn't film it, unfortunately. So this is uh, what my stomach looked like July 19th, 2024. So I had a picture my take a picture of my stomach so cause they try to give me fat tech. Where if I eat a, a, a light slice of bread, it's like eating a loaf. And here's nanotechnology right there. That's supposed to be snot out of my nose, right? Who has white snot? And I'll show you some more stuff here. And here that <laughs> mean that shouldn't offend anybody, because when you're in your own country, everybody hates immigrants taking their jobs and their houses. But here's the main one. Go to www.change.org slash technology. Legislatively mandated broke. And here's the proof right there, internationally. So let's see what this one is. And then right now, this is me getting have. <sighs> There's my landlord violating me at that moment. Right before I was filming this, uh, I heard a click in my ear, and so I knew I was going to be able to cough it out, but uh, they're working on suffocation tech, and uh, I'm going to punish them all. So even though I haven't taken my asthma inhaler in the last three months, uh, I cough more now, and I have a hard time cleaning out my lungs, even though I don't need my asthma inhaler at all. I haven't taken it in three months, but the government thinks I'm taking my asthma inhaler. So officially, they're still 
trying to hack my biology, assuming I'm taking the asthma dealer. So here's some more suspicious mucus. This is a na nanotechnology. Uh, I just blew my nose. It's uh, July 5th. Look at it. They made a perfect bubble. I can compress it. I'm going to squeeze it again. Not completely shut here. Okay, so, it no, pop. it didn't pop. It's pretty strange mucus. Uh, how are they going to explain that? So, let's see. And here, look at how... Look at how my mucus... Whose mucus does this? Like, that's supposed to be snot. Like, look how clear it is. Whose mucus is clear like that? And when I opened up the napkin, how come it didn't separate into clumps like your mucus would? So I want to try to find one where I'm disgusted or happy in a video. Let's see this one. Uh, getting raped, hopefully you never are, but if you, if you do, never stop fighting and uh, try to claw them, particularly on their face, because uh, you, it's hard to explain scratches on your face, right? You want to get some of that DNA under your, under your nails. And, uh, but never stop moving your pelvis, your, your hips. You want to try to make it so they can't penetrate you by moving, like if being a guy, if I was getting... So I'm gonna go back right after I said penetrate you. Look right here on my face. That was somebody that was uh, hijacking me that was isolated or something. But look at j how just this side of my face changed when I said penetrated, but not this side. So I'm gonna try to rewind. So that was at th probably 27 seconds into the video. So I'll play it from here. Your, your hips, you want to try to make it so they can't penetrate you by moving. Like if being a guy, if I was getting raped, it'd be my anus, right? So I'd be moving side to side. I'd be trying to break it, more or less. And I would try to uh, do whatever to uh, basically uh, make it not pleasurable whatsoever. And continue fighting, kicking, biting, whatever you have to do, elbows, fight as if uh, you're gonna die, basically. Okay, it didn't show that one. But I did slightly see it the second time when I went there, it was right on my nose, it was hard to see. But I do have one where my eyeball made a weird maneuver on, uh, oh, can I open it from this app? It's on this app. It's only like 10 seconds long, but you can see how my eyeballs hacked. It made uh, an inhuman movement. This one right here. So I'll play this a, a couple times. Watch where I show. Watch how my eye, see how my eye moved at that moment? I'll play it again, but watch how my eye moved. When I, after I, when, when I do the circle thing. Now, see how I moved right there? At, right after I, I moved the circle, that's when uh, an electronic hijacker disconnected from me, so my eye was trying to recover and, and go back to its normal position. But that's uh, proof of uh, electronic hacking right there. And I'll show you more proof right here. This is supposed to be Daniel Craig, but it, anybody who's watched James Bond, who knows who Pierce Bronson is, you can see a striking resemblance of Pierce Bronson in this. And it's supposed to be Daniel Craig. So Pierce Bronson most likely was electronically collaborating with, with uh, Daniel Craig at this. This is uh, the No Time to Die trailer in 2021 uh, from, from two minutes and six seconds to something like two minutes and 25 seconds. But it's that the car scene when it's spinning in a, in a circle and uh, and it zooms in. I 
paused it and took a picture of the, the screenshot, but you can see the electronic collaboration in, in that particular. So they've been hiding it ever since uh, this video was posted four years ago. So you can watch the full, the full video, uh, the Seki War Claim for the Throne, but you have to search in Chris Meyer Diggins as well. If not, you might not find the, the full video, like the video. So here's a subliminal face that they put on my beard to make my beard go gray. Like you can see a face of a man, and to me it looks like Jesus. That's what I see when I look at it, I see Jesus. But uh, anyways, so I'll show you some other cool things, scientific proof that can be verified. So let's see. Might be in my histories instead. I'm just gonna pause it. So I just seen this, and uh, this is a Nobel Prize video, and uh, this is the government. They they skewed the video. I'll play both videos for you. I'll show you what I look like. Uh, well, actually, you can see how it's distorted in this one, and I'll play. Uh, the other one where it's not distorted and it shows what my physique looked like at that point but uh i was pissed off at men in this video so uh, that's why i was shirtless so let's see so they try to discredit me all the time like they hacked me there so i missed pronounce so they could set me up but uh so see, I have to type in thank you, my full name to just to be able to see the. So there's that one, this one right here. Like, so I'll watch this one. Surely is here, and the reason why I'm doing this is because whatever I do, I massively men. So I'm just gonna put this down here for a minute. So I'm gonna get these for women because they seem to be the most sensible sex on the planet. Anyways. Three ways to save the planet. First of all, we've created a magnetic sphere around satellites. What it does is it protects our, our satellites and our civilization basically from the coronial mass ejections. Last time it happened in the 1800s, it knocked out every telegraph on the planet. So if it happened now, it's going to basically knock his back very to the stone age. So they have to like <sighs> that's why it's hot. <sighs> so anyways, it'll knock his back. The coronal mass ejection will knock his back, you know, God knows how long. Because uh, every, our heavy reliance on the coronal mass ejection. I'm, I'm just gonna rewind it a bit here. Satellites. What it does is it protects our, our satellites and our civilization basically from the coronal mass ejections. Last time it happened in the 1800s, it knocked out every telegraph on the planet. So if it happened now, it's gonna basically knock us back very to the Stone Age. <laughs> They tried killing me at that moment, that's why I fought. So anyways, they'll knock us back. The coronal mass ejection will knock us back, you know, God knows how long. Because uh, every, our heavy reliance on the coronal mass ejection. Last time it happened. So I'm just gonna pause it. So they, since the title was Three Ways to Save Civilization, even though it's Nobel Prize, I should win the Nobel Prize three times for these thoughts, but they hacked my brain to discredit me in, in this uh, particular video. But if you listen to the content, when, I, when I'm when i not being a dick to them later on in the video, 
But if you listen to the content, the quality of the content, they're Nobel Prize thoughts. So I'll knock us back God knows how long because we're, our heavy reliance on computers, you know, who knows how long it'll take. Give me the LP screen, give me good, give me that credit, but it will. Anyways, the second way to save our planet, potentially, is we start orbiting satellites around all the planets in our solar system. It'll give us a different vantage point from, from Earth, right? So we're going to be able to see, you know, any potential Earth destroying asteroids, that, uh, particularly ones that come from the sun that are, we're blinded by it. We have basically no chance whatsoever to protect our civilization. Because once it comes from the sun, we have a few months, by the time we send up a rocket, it's already past the point of no return, lights out for mankind. So we have it orbiting different solar systems. Different planets, I meant to say. So if we have it orbiting, so if, if we have these satellites orbiting, so I'm just I'm just gotta pause it, cause watch how my mouth secretes. It's at say 2:15 when they one watch how I lick my lips. That's me getting drugged, and then I stutter shortly after that. But that's how they drug me. It's proof right here. Watch 2:15 around 2:15. There I got drugged. See, I forgot. So if we have it orbiting. So if, if we have these satellites orbiting planets within our solar system, it also increases our chance of finding them. <laughs> so, if you wonder why I'm doing this once again, I'm kind of getting my flex on here. So if we have an orbiting satellites around planets within our solar system, it gives us a great chance of finding intelligent life elsewhere because uh, our line of trajectory and their line of trajectory, we may not be visible from Earth. And then the third way, which is pretty cool, with nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, we could use it to redirect the sunlight that comes through the depleted region of the ozone, which is the size of Texas. And everybody you knows everything's bigger in Texas, right? So anyways, we do this basically a mirror effect, we just kind of push the sunlight back. Everything is bigger in Texas. So by redirecting the sunlight, it's going to stop uninhabitable. Anyways, <laughs> by having nanotechnology with artificial intelligence, which is currently around, all around us and we don't you don't even realize it it's you know, nanotechnology is so small you don't even see it. anyways it can reflect the sun that comes through you know keeping our planet cooler right everybody knows global warming and pretty soon the earth is going to be unha uninhabitable that's me getting pissed off at the system so anyways by reflecting the sun using nanotechnology, which is currently available everywhere, we don't even see it, it's so small. It's gonna cool our planet enough to make it in have more. By reading This is me being an asshole here. Because I knew I was getting violated, right? It's funny because I look at the screen and I see a man that loves vagina. <laughs> That's why they try to kill me with the cough. Anyways, by outwards. using nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, which is currently available all around us, we don't even see it, it's so small. So, three seconds left. I have to just spit it out. By using nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, by using nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, it can re reflect the sun's light. By using nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, it can redirect the sun's light. You know, cooling our planet, making us being able to live on Earth longer. Because a few years ago, I'm pretty sure, but in social media, heard how bees, honeybees. Um, Here's the penis MBQ. 
bees. We need them. <coughs> so, using nanotechnology, using nanotechnology to redirect the sun's light away from our planet is going to cool our planet enough to, to be able to make it so we can live here on Earth. Everyone probably heard a few years ago how uh, honeybees were, may go extinct, and if honeybees go extinct, it's lights out from the dark, right? And nobody wants that. We all want to live. And uh, by the way, we're going to be King Bingo, and you have to hear first. Okay, so the long and short of it is because uh, they hacked me so much that video. I'm going to play you when I wasn't hacked and they distorted my body because they didn't hack me, right? So they wanted to skew how I looked. But uh, anyways, the long and short is uh, you, you create a magnetic sphere around satellites and it projects protects against uh, the coronal mass ejection like the sun's solar flares. Right, protecting our satellites, our infrastructure, and our communication, and our way of life, basically. And then the other one is uh, to have satellites orbit planets in our solar system to get different vantage points of asteroids that have a trajectory towards Earth, potentially giving us years instead of days' notice. Right. So they didn't do that. I posted this video years ago. Right. They didn't do that. And uh, they may be redirecting uh, the sunlight away from uh, the depleted region of the ozone but they they should have had an artificial intelligence software now that could sow and regrow the ozone because if we can't do that how the fuck to be terraform a planet right anyway so i'll play now that that video abbreviated and uh once again they distorted me to make me look non-appealing shirtless here and the reason why I'm doing this is because whatever I do I emasculate men so I'm just gonna put this down here for a minute so I'm hoping to get views from women because they seem to be the most sensible sex on the planet so anyways three reasons to save the planet first of all we've created a magnetic sphere around satellites what it does is it protects our, our satellites and our civilization basically from the coronal mass objections last time it happened in the 1800s it knocked out every telegraph on the planet so i'll knock us back god knows how long because we're, our heavy reliance on computers you know, who knows how long it'll take and, uh, you know, basically it could be good if you have bad credit but anyway, but anyways the second way to save our planet potentially is we start orbiting satellites around all the planets in our solar system and give us a different vantage point from, from Earth, right? So we're going to be able to see, you know, any potential Earth-destroyed asteroids, that, uh, particularly the ones that come from the sun that are we're blinded by. It. We have basically no chance whatsoever to protect our civilization because once it comes from the sun, we have a few months, by the time we send up a rocket, it's already past the point of no return, like it's for mankind. So, if you wonder why I'm doing this once again, I'm kind of getting my flex on here. So if we have an orbiting satellites around planets within our solar system, it gives us a great chance of finding intelligent life elsewhere. Because uh, our line of trajectory and their line of trajectory, we may not be visible from Earth. And then the third way, which is pretty cool, with nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, we could use it to redirect the sunlight that comes through the depleted region of the ozone, which is the size of Texas. And everybody knows everything's bigger in Texas, right? By readership. That's me getting frustrated with them there at that point. It's funny because I look at the screen and I see a man that must be jumping. By using nanotechnology and artificial intelligence, if you read the rest of the sunset, on our planet, making us be able to live on Earth now. Probably heard a few years ago how uh, honeybees were, were may go extinct, and if honeybees go extinct, it's lights out for a time, right? And nobody wants that. We all want to live. And uh, by the way, I'm going to be killing the event that you can get first. <laughs> so they see I wasn't coughing, I wasn't secreting. I, I did get frustrated several times, but uh. 
you didn't see me call up and randomly and 15% off a new home insurance so here's a, a, I'm on a, a couple more videos then I'll end this video here so I'm gonna show you the weather machine so here's another video which is good Chris Meyer Diggins fountain of youth watch that video it shows me looking older in a video on YouTube from four years ago and then a wrinkle disappeared from a video from three years ago on YouTube and now I don't even have the wrinkle they're trying to re-add it recently but as of like last week I didn't have it All these videos are good. They make it hard to see on, see on YouTube, so you have to type in Chris Meyer Diggins and then the title name. I should be getting up uh, pretty close to it. This is when I uh, I start realizing. Uh, I went from having uh, gray hair or something like that in August and then no gray hair in November, then gray hair later on in November in some of these videos when I start complaining about it, basically. So it, it must be close. So this is a... a this is uh, Hurricane Dorian's most unlikely path. Basically, that's a good video to watch. Uh, a few days earlier, so one of these here, maybe I... Here we go. So, if you, you see this video, this video is older than this video, but in I, I think in this video, so let's wa I'll watch it. But I realize that hurricane could be diverted with this technology that they used against me here basically for some reason they're trying to register me right there so to get them so here's the low pressure system for me so this is 21st and it managed to come all the way down here to cause a thunderstorm in this is here's the low pressure system I'm gonna play it again. They, I'm gonna play it again. They made me turn it down instead of turning it up. They're cunts like that. Here's Sault Ste. Marie. So here's the low pressure system from uh, Sunday, September 1st, and it managed to come all the way down here to cause a thunderstorm in Sault Ste. So here's the low pressure system from uh, Sunday, September 1st. Managed to come all the way down so here. with that technology, they, they could stop a hurricane, and I thought that, and... Uh, oh, I see, they made me... Uh, so I thought that, because they made it... I was hitchhiking, so they made the low pressure system go to Sault Ste. Marie and ra like rain me out for a day or two. It made, prevented me from... Uh, from hitchhiking and, and I thought they could use that technology to divert a hurricane and watch its unlikely path. Here's uh, the, the path of... Uh... So it goes straight towards Florida 
and then it takes a curveball and curves all around the Florida coast. Completely missing the United States, but devastating the Caribbean islands. Hurricane Dorian. It just looks abnormal. There's like a Giacana move right, right here. Here it is again. So it shows it again. Devastating. Instead there. of going like right across Bahamas towards Florida, it just hugs the whole coast. So how does a hurricane almost, go straight almost, and then change direction like that? Accomplish that. Let's start going this way. So, what forced the hurricane to change directions? It's just paused right now. So. Right. What got in the hurricane's way to change directions? It was heading directly towards Florida, and then it took a curveball. Right. So, the American government has been allowing hurricanes to happen against their citizens and possibly cause it against other countries. And here's the proof of it right there, if there is any. And here's the and it's American citizens responsible for international viewers. There we go. They throw tsunamis at countries. So I'll show you the weather machine and I'll show, I'll show me once again, controlling the clouds with my mind. I can't do it obviously with just mental powers without technology. Unfortunately, when you watch a video on YouTube, it makes you have to go all the way to the beginning again. At least for me. There was the Complicit Trudeau video, which would be a good one to watch. Should be soon. Okay, so this is Susie Marie. Okay, I must be getting close. I'm trying to find when I was uh, in Denmark. I was still in Toronto at this point, so there's Toronto from the air, so I must be coming back from Denmark. So this is Denmark, here we go. So see where I'm pointing the day, I'll make it full screen. So you might have to change your camera. But see at the dark clouds right there. See how dark it is? See it moving right to left? and watch the guy walking left to right. So you can see how fast it's moving until I point. And then look how slow the cloud's moving afterwards compared to the guy walking. I'll watch it again for you so you can see it. So watch how fast, it, here we go. As soon as I point, it slows down. This 
one particularly. You can noticeably see how slow it is slowed down. And that's me uh, hacking the artificial intelligence system basically. Because Denmark wasn't as, uh, didn't have the same system as Canada did. Canada gave, and America gave Denmark some systems while I was there. Because I was able to bend a cloud in half in their system. But I didn't have a camera and it was at night. If not, it would have been amazing. Like it would have been un unequivocal. So I'm trying to find one here about the subliminal witch. Here we go. Moving. I'll slow it down. So you can see it moving right to left. Now it looks like a witch, because it's a subliminal. There's a tat, or beard. I'll slow it down again, over the chimney. You can see it slow down. So I guess since I'm kind of on there was one other video I did want to show. I guess I'll play this one. This, this is the tour of my electronic violators. You can see I'm a very, very clever, creative guy. So let's see, secret meetings. So this, uh, these sores are uh, how they were hacking my biology while I was at a shelter in Toronto. And they kept the sore open for two months. It was excruciatingly painful. I want to, it was I print talent. That's the one I want to see. So here, this is me doing math and simultaneously thinking at the same time, having a conversation. But I'm going to write down any two numbers and simultaneously talk while I'm doing some math. And the numbers are going to be 78 times 48. So 78 times 48. So being able to think about my brain being the influence for quantum computing is very simple because I'm able to do this because I have that genetic advantage that other people don't have. So very simply, I was able to come up with 3,744. Let's see if I'm right. But my brain was the influence for quantum computing. So who's able to talk and do math at the same time? with random random numbers. Uh, only the person with uh, this evolutionary team. And the fact that the government of Canada in the United States and uh, the number did work out to be... You can watch the rest of the video. The fact uh, that the government of Canada is uh, trying to... Uh, because yeah, I get into the government speak there, right? So, let's see. I wrote a, a poem uh, about my Rothschild, and uh, it's ironic because uh, the entire ledger was built for me. And uh, these people, who they may have a, a Rothschild last name, but they're nobody. I was foretold. I was the prophecy. And I run the ledger. I run the matrix. I am the god of the matrix. Like, so basically, what you do doesn't matter. In, long, in the long run, you're going to pay for it because those 
fluency of my fluidity of my words. You know, so watch when I say this poem, poem even poem, right? Who, who could say fluency of the fluidity of the words and then not say poem? So anyways, when I'm uh, making this poem, watch how many times I have to lick my lips or make this, this mo motion. Because every single one of those isn't being, I'm being administered medicine and, uh, you know, covertly through nanotechnology. And uh, once again, uh, you know, at this point, uh, I'm, I'm saying that I am able to interpret brainwaves via uh, transmit and receive in, uh, electrical signals via my molar, just like Lucille Ball did. And uh, check out Cheap Tricks Dream Police in 1971, even before I was born. It's almost 50 years ago. I think it was 70. And uh, that song's uh, true. And uh, Lucille Ball was able to interpret it, interpret radio signals via her molars. And uh, that's absolutely true. And, uh, you know, maybe I could uh, construct a crude test, uh, you know, in the future to be able to demonstrate this. Let's go on. I love How good I look and like look at the last video yesterday first of all I don't have any of those wrinkles X marks the spot register me or my kin get a metrics that's where you'll draw my Rothschild created the ledger the Rothschilds today proceeded to rob destroyed my life think of the book of job they turn me into a beggar they fail to realize how clever the man that is me my life foretold by prophecy my destiny is to live in the Buckingham Palace I'll hunt down these devils with no with impunity, no regrets, no malice, my blood is the fountain of youth. If your blood is pure, go grab a chalice. Restoring the greatness of the Rothschild name, so my Rothschild didn't die in vain. Through all the hidden, hidden innuendos, with my, my will I bend, I don't break, so consolidate your losses. Had me cover the mic in a just like a sniper. Ashes to ashes, dust to EI, silver flux. Left after you die, revealing all your crime. It's just a matter of time. Your your futile effort to hide evolution was all in vain. If you sold your soul, the devil wants his, wants to be paid in full. And anyways, I wrote like several several songs and um, you know, alone at last. And I'm so fluid with my fluidity of my fluency of the English language. So the fact that I'm able to stutter now is um you know just a matter of time and in the previous video that i'm going to splice where you could do that every time that happens i get messed up so that was that so i print talent so what other one do i want to play i guess i didn't show so since i thought it was going to show something awesome in there but uh i guess i'll show father son evolutionary genes this is me and my son. Uh, I, uh, I've only thrown a football maybe 100 times in my life, and I was about 30, 30 yards away or so, and I was plus minus a foot left or right of my target in my mind, and my son filmed me. I, I threw one, I took one attempt. He walked over with the soccer ball. It took him one attempt. I filmed him, and it, look how small he was in this video. And uh, he was 14 at the time, right? So he's probably five feet tall. Here's uh, some of that evolutionary talent. Here's me uh, going bar down with the football. And my son. Look how tiny he is. Here's uh, some of that evolutionary talent. Here's me uh, going bar down with the football. Okay, so that'll be the end of it. So, let's see. I do want to play... Uh... Oh, this is a song I, I just wrote today, so I'll play it. So here's a uh, song that I uh, wrote called Referee. She dressed like a re referee. She had her blow my whistle, dressed in stripes, just right. She's mine tonight. Started with the nibble, went for the bite. Musical interlude. Slick like silk, I wooed her, I seduced her, I maneuvered her to the bedroom. Bedroom looked like natural disaster. Called Fleema to clean it up afterwards. So chill, 
Stanley Cup Finals, fresh off the grill. Oh, Canada, I got that PhD in seduction. My maker body started erupting. They hacked me there big time. Some kid, here's the kid that hacked me there. So it, once again, it'd be so chill. Stanley Cup Finals, fresh off the grill. Grill. Oh, Canada, I have that PhD in seduction. Make your body start erupting. I want to be that legend between your thighs. So when I'm away, you can't sleep at night. I'm as sweet as hog and dog's ice cream. Once I get in your legs, if you, you, you'll see what I mean. You'll hear my words like man-made thunder. Feel my gyrations as I work my lumber. Musical interlude. She dressed like a referee, you had to blow my whistle, dressed in stripes just right, she's mine tonight, started with a nibble, went for a bite. So they're putting subliminal metrics where I'm trying to read, and right here, where I read. You can see the screen shift. Slick like silk, I wooed her, I seduced her, I maneuvered her, up to the bar, body shots, of course we took it too far, the bar became a scene, if you know what I mean, unbuttoned my collar to let off some steam, checked your specs in high depth, damn near lost my breath. Musical interlude, she dressed like a referee, how to blow my whistle, dressed in stripes, just right, she's mine tonight, started with a nibble, went for a bite. So I would have been able to do that cohesively if I wasn't hacked and they weren't trying to subliminally set me up. So here's all the people, internationally, there's all the people that were trying to set me up, reading the song uh, to, to skew my influence. But in the future, people are going to see how smooth and mellifluous I am and uh, I... I, I for instance, uh, I can adjust the, the testosterone or estrogen in my brain, so in five seconds I'm going to make my voice deeper. Now my voice is uh, considerably deeper because I added more testosterone to my brain, but now my voice is softer because I added estrogen to my brain, right? So I can make myself uh, more mellifluous or more sensual, right? Or if I, I can make myself more aggressive by adding testosterone. Anyways, that's the show. So, so once again, uh, now I just added testosterone to my brain and uh, now I added estrogen to my brain. So you can hear a difference in my voice. And then, here we go, here's uh, a new song. This is for the penis MBQ. So uh, I uh, wrote this new song and uh, I'm gonna you know, try to sing it, but I'm gonna read it and uh, I'm probably gonna get hacked at some point and I'm just gonna do it in one take because uh, in the future I'm gonna be able to show who hacked me and uh, to get the ones that wanna hack me right there. But I'm going to be able to show who hacked me and prove it in the future. But all you have to do is look at the technological advance in the last few years. Because uh, if you go to Chris Meyer Diggins, C-H-R-I-S-M-E-Y-E-R-D-I-G-G-I-N-S. And then Summer in those jeans. And uh, I wrote and uh, sang it in one take, basically. And uh, didn't stutter whatsoever. I didn't. I didn't mispronounce. I didn't go out of tune. Not, none of that. None of that happened. And this was only a few years ago, right? So this is the technological advance with artificial intelligence and nanotechnology. Here's what they used to make me suck. Now. I call it suck deck. Anyways, here it goes. It's a funny song, but it has a message. So they don't like that. So they're gonna skew it. You haven't seen your dick in years. You haven't seen your dick in years Or you'll never see it ever again Your wife will be brought to tears If you've ever felt my hand Masturbate my little man My penis or my son's daughter's vagina If you've ever felt this come They hacked me there But I did want to change this I thought I'd change it to private parts But it didn't save that part so I was reading private, in my mind I was thinking private parts, but I didn't see that. So I'll do it again. You haven't seen your dick in years. You haven't seen your dick in years. Or you'll never see it ever again. And your wife will be brought to tears. If you've ever felt my hand. Masturbate my little man. My penis. My penis or my son's. Or my daughter's private parts, if you've ever felt this come. Very few days until the system's wrath, if you've ever watched me bath. Or my kids. You didn't realize my wit, so clever, underestimated, never duplicated, often imitated. Your DNA is vulnerable to the consequences of your karma. You made your own bed. It's in, in time, the crimes against the king. 
But if you don't use this additional plethora of more, I'm right in the wrong. Right in the wrong, I will saddle the score. You killed or maimed my good citizens of the world. And then the musical in interlude. You haven't seen your dick in years. You haven't seen your dick in years. Or you'll never see it ever again. And your wife will be brought to tears. If you've ever felt my hand masturbate my little man, my penis or my son or my daughter's private parts, if you've ever felt this come. I came, I saw, I'm conquering evil, shaking up the world, there will be upheaval, to liberate all good women and men and children, I'm protecting them with my artificial intelligence shield, in the open battle I dominate the field, all those loyal who serve and protect will be my instrument of my commands as I harmonize all the world's lands. That they hack and me boys, here. And those who, those not, join that. You haven't seen your dick in years, club. You haven't seen your dick in years. I guess I gotta put that in there because that's the funny part. Or you'll never see it again, ever again. Your wife will be brought to tears. If you've ever felt my hand, masturbate my little man. My penis or my son's daughter's private part if you've ever felt this come. So that's basically it right here. So to get every one of those people registered that have ever felt me masturbate, or my son or daughter masturbate, and dispatch them accordingly. Here's how you get the ball right there. We're bringing them justice. Bringing them for justice, but in the meantime, dispatching them because justice seems to sit on their hands. <coughs> Okay, so one more song. <laughs> so I guess I'll play this song. This song's, uh, it's a, a fun song. I like it. So this is a polka dancer. I was hacked. He's in the it. polka no, dancer. He knows the answer. He makes the bets. She gets wet with temptation. He's a sensation that people be craving. He's so amazing. Eminence, Christian. From Meyer nation Dickinson. to nation, his sensation, a living legend. His acts are never mentioned. He tries to liberate your mind. It's only a matter of time until he shines, because he is the polka dancer. He knows the answer, he makes the bets. She gets wet with temptation. He's a sensation that people be craving. He's so amazing. She shows a grin, much to his chagrin. I bet flush with sweat, he calls to see the river. She makes her best bluff, holding a royal. He surely bluffs because he is the poker dancer. He knows the answer, he makes the bets. She gets wet with temptation. He is a sensation that people be craving. He is so amazing. So I could read that time, and that's uh, without my eyes being fucking hacked. So that was me being frustrated then. So let's see if you all. Actually, you all search. <laughs> Machines look like summer in those tears. If you can only see what I see, you look perfect. <coughs> and your face got flow sheets with me. If you like summer every time we meet, making every paycheck ends me. Got me loving you in those jeans. Summer every time we meet. If you like summer every time we meet, making every paycheck ends me. Got me loving you in those jeans. Summertime, every time we meet. If you like summer, every time my eyes greet, you and just stroll down the chest peak. You look like summer in those jeans. If you don't see what I see, you look perfect to me. Every night, get your scuff of those sheets with me. If you like summer, every time we meet, making every paycheck ends me. So that would be the crowd singing. Got me loving you in those jeans. Summertime, every time we meet. You feel like summer. Every time we meet, making every paycheck ends me. Got me loving you in those jeans. Summertime, every time we meet. 
so that's that song. And then I'll play one last song and then I'll end the video. If it makes it this long. So, this was before they were hacking me and making me stutter. I did this in one take. I read it off a of screen, basically. One or two takes. An unforgettable kiss that we both did miss. Read by each other's lust, we can't get enough. It all started with words that attach a new flame, and one that's burned for ages. The moment is right, alone at last. Crank up the music, turn the lights down low for this party of two. Pull them in close, taking off each other's clothes slowly. Navigating each other's body slowly. Get your heart, each other's body slowly. Get your heart, each other's body slowly. Taking your time to make this right, do whatever they like, and please don't deny it. You've been with another, but you found each other. An unforgettable kiss that we both could miss. <laughs> Need to by each other's loss, we can't get enough. It all started with words and attached new flame, or one that's burned free. Just the moment is right, alone at last. Found that someone go have some fun, but it hurts by the wrong one. It doesn't mean you can't have some fun. Through the with the ironclad to push with the roller coaster. Factuated by each other's presence, the words have to be mentioned. Unconditional faithfulness eliminates much trust. Can't lie, sensual speaking is always good when it's what the other one likes. That unforgettable kiss that we both would miss. Inebriated by each other's lust, we can't get enough. It all started with words that attach new flame or one that's burned free. Just the moment is right, alone at last. Players stay the same, whatever adds sparks to this flame Get them so hot they glow in the dark like a lava lamp Once you put them through the pieces, loving each other's teeth Prepare both to the you keep doing this You form a habit, next time you're alone You can capture this magic again Build on your repertoire Switch things up and be the star That unforgettable kiss that we both would miss That unforgettable kiss Inebriated by each other's lust, we can't get enough It all started with words and a touch A new flame of one that's burned for ages The moment is right, alone at last Can't lie to for two, some sweet talk to get them in the mood Get them loose with a massage, feel their skin through your fingertips As the door from kicks in, you know it's working when you see that crap So there was Christy at Freeland. Hey, uh, you got any picks tonight? I'm really liking the odds on points bet. Oh, yeah? So what do they, you got? they made it Taking so I couldn't even pause the video there. Because they're trying to get my own affinity here. So let's see. Maybe one more video. So what song? So I played Summer in My Jeans, Poker Dancer, Referee, Father and Son, Evolution. Well, I didn't play Soul. Soul's a fun song I just made. It's more for uh, the young enemy combatants in the system. And it's going to be an anthem for kids in the future and people in the future. So even though the song is called Soul, let's see where mine is. Here it is. So yeah, I had to scroll 18 videos down to see my video, even though it's a, a song that exact. I just wrote here. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. You have nowhere to hide. If you committed any crimes, your punishment must fit the times. 
And the software will protect you then. Electronic violators who pretend to be your friends end up losing in the end. Rally behind mankind. Privatize your mind. W. So if it cuts out, it means if it all of a sudden ends abruptly, uh, the, the app does that sometimes. So you could just watch Soul Chris Meyer Diggins. www.change.org.technology Slash technology. They hacked you there. They hacked me at that point, so it'd be www.change.org slash technology. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you so die. So get those violators right there. You have yep, nowhere you. to hide. If you committed any crimes, punishment must hit the times. Anybody that touches your body, even if they're a hottie, can be stealing your attributes, ultimately stealing you. Even if they look, touch, or stare, you might be hearing a clicking in your ear, even when walking near, especially if you're looking at a device, they could be trying to wreck your life. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. Your soul is naked when you die. You have nowhere to hide. If you, if you committed any crimes, your punishment must fit the times. Anybody that touches your body, even if they are a hardy, can be stealing your attributes, ultimately stealing you. So I just altered the testosterone in my voice there because they steal my attributes. So normally I would have a deep voice like this. That's my natural voice. So my singing voice now is... Nanotechnology and artificial intelligence could be robbing you of your excellence. Get your electronic violators. Get your electronic violators. Get your electronic violators with your mind. And let the system punish them for the crimes. Without any software manipulation technology that may skew any evidence, you must learn to defend against their techniques so the devil surely reaps their soul forever. Protect evolutionary beings as eminence who is me always knows how to work the flow, switch the rhythm just so you know. That's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the show. So here is uh, www.changethat.org slash technology. <laughs> you can pause and read this part right here. I'm just going to cancel this. With them. So you can pause and read it. I'm just going to scroll up. It's important to read this. Trying to scroll slow. Okay, so so that being said, uh. Go to www.change.org slash technology, sign the petition, share it on social media many times, many platforms, so it goes viral around the world, especially if you're not in Canada, because there's a censorship bill that's stopping me from privatizing thoughts. So share it around the world, so your government can acknowledge the system and a civilian and military oversight committee can keep Big Brother in check. And uh, one day I'm going to be Big Brother, so I wouldn't... I don't have any bad intentions. If not, I wouldn't be telling you that people could listen to your thoughts, would I? Right? I'd use that to manipulate you in the future if I had any bad intentions. So since I'm going to be king of the world and I'm telling you about this technology, I should be the most trusted person on the fucking planet at that point. Anyways, so go there, sign the petition, share it many times on uh, social media and make it go viral.
it's imperative that you do so because you can deny deny reality, but you can't deny the consequences of denying that reality. Basically, you can pretend that privacy of thought, you have it, but it's not a reality. People, like, the, the term telepathy was coined in 1882, I believe, so people have been listening to other people's thoughts at least that long, probably longer than that. Right, so, uh, and what was the other thing I want to show? 